Well, I uh, get a lot of pallets off of the free Craigslist thing, so we use those for burning and a few little projects, but mostly just the broken ones and crap are the ones I'm looking for, the ones that nobody wants, and um, we just use them for uh, burning in the backyard and campfires and, and stuff like that. Uh, usually it's, you know, too short, broken up, can't use them anyway, but I've been, you know, like everybody else, how do you break them down and all that kind of stuff. So I took a bunch of ideas off of the YouTube. Sorry if it looks familiar to yours, but, you know, probably is. Um, I just used stuff we had on hand. Um, basically made the little uh, pry part, you know, here. We had a piece of plate that we've been cutting stuff off of. Quarter inch plate, I think it was. I just bought it at the scrap when we first were learning how to weld a little bit. And um, still practicing, but that's what we use it for. And so I just cut two strips off about an inch wide. Um, I think it was like six inches wide, so that's why I used it, because I didn't have to do anything else. Um, and we had some angle iron around, a piece of scrap tubing that we had. Just got all this stuff out of my bucket um, of junk, and um, found this little pipe fitting thing in the in the in the shed. So just welded all that up together based on some designs. So uh, people had put a pry bar on here and some other things to, you know, I don't know. I may have to add something down here on the back to uh, give it a little more leverage if I need to, but this and then you know t-posts i didn't have anything long i don't have any pipe or anything like that so i thought well heck t-posts it's almost like an i-beam should be pretty strong um works pretty good i'm gonna go try it out in a little bit i got a truckload of uh pallets so i'll probably put one of those on here in a minute but i'm gonna go off and and then i'll i'll try it out and take a video of if it actually works or not um but i did this also so you just slide that off use a t-post for something else or um you know store it now i got something that's just a little bit bigger than my hand and i can throw it on the shelf in the in the shed or whatever you know keep it in the back of the truck who knows um but it makes it nice and portable and stuff uh, anyway that's what we got for today took about gosh maybe 30 minutes to put it together and that was with the cutting and everything so uh pretty easy and test will be see if it works i'll be back later all right well i'm gonna test it out i don't really have a good place to hold it hopefully you can see that so um we're gonna try it out still be able to pick, take it down. Alrighty, back, found just some little bolt and whatever bit, drilled a hole all the way through. Now, now it won't slide off when you're trying to use it. Um, that was the only problem I was having earlier, was that you know, I had to hold on to the end to keep it from uh, doing. But now it just works. And this uh, T-Post actually works better than some of the ones I've seen online because you get so much more leverage. It doesn't even take much. These are those thin ones too um, that usually break. Um, it's not the thicker boards, so they're real, real thin. But just pop right off of there. Take them off, move it over. Now it doesn't slide around, but I can still break it down and put it away. <laughs> 